So, what is really going on? What's happening is, as the dispensations unfold, as the ages unfold, the Bible says dispensation. The reason it's dispensation, God dispenses out medicine to the human race. But mankind can only handle so much at a time. <clears throat> from the age of law to the age of grace to the millennium, from the age of conscience to the age of ignorance to the age of whatever. From the beginning to the end, God is revealing Jesus. So it's being revealed in the technology. It's being revealed in the scripts. It's being revealed in physics and math and science. Quantum physics just proves that Jesus is everywhere. God is everywhere. Jesus holds it all together. Creation is held together by Jesus. By him, all things consist. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's your quantum physics right there. So, what is it? It's a story. Everything that's made is made by the sun. God made everything through his son, through Jesus. And so the story is repeating everywhere. And so the script writers are revealing Christ and his body. That's why the superhero movies are there. The, the, the real superhero would be so fast and it would happen so quick that you wouldn't even know they existed, you know. A real superhero would be able to read minds and fix a problem before it happened. Because in order to in order to get to that state, your heart has to be right. God is not going to give you a gift that you're not ready to handle. In other words, your heart has to be right to where you won't you won't do any harm towards anybody. You won't try to hurt anybody. If God gives you a supernatural gift and you use it for evil to hurt people, don't you think he's going to scourge you? It's all a birthing process. It's all a revealing process. So the devil, I thought about that and then I thought about, well, why does the devil attack the camp of the saints after, the, after he's bound for a thousand years? The reason why, it's the same story. Just like Cain killed Abel, the Gentiles attacked, the Gentiles attacked Israel, See, they, they got to take out the Republican Party so they can attack Israel. That's what they're doing. They want to attack Israel. So the kings of the earth will be deceived by the devil after a thousand years. And the kings of the earth are no different than the kings of the earth now. They're all deceived. But as Jesus is being revealed, there's nothing they can do to stop it. They will come, they will, they will come, all the kings of the earth will come around against the camp of the saints, but God will knock them back, you know? And every time they try to stop, every time they all join together, group up together, it doesn't matter where it's at, even, a, even in a Wiccan, a Wiccan uh, coven or a cult, a Wiccan coven cult, they they scheme together and it always knocks them back. Look what happened to uh, the Doctor Strange movie. When Wanda was scheming it, she got knocked back. Doctor Strange got knocked back. They're always scheming and they always get possessed and they always think that they can overpower gods and his saints. This is why they hate men. They really hate men to the to the hill. Now they try to flip it, try to make it think make you think that men hate women, but that's not true. Some men might get bitter and get in unforgiveness and hate women, but it goes back to Genesis 3. So everything's in Genesis 3. So I, so I thought, well, how in the world, how in the world will the devil 
convince the whole earth to attack Israel? How how will they get them to conspire against, you know, just like the Bible says, the kings of the earth conspire against the Most High. They know that there's a creator. They're no, they know that somebody runs this simulation. How does that happen? Why do they attack? Even if some, even if you treat them good, they still attack. Even if you marry one of them, they still attack. What is it? I'll tell you what it is. The flesh mind wants to do good at times. They try to do good, but they don't have the power. They don't have the power. They think they're doing good. Even the devil, even the devil right now, he thinks he can be Jesus and, and deliver the earth back up to God because this whole thing is, what's happening is Jesus is going to rule and reign for a thousand years. That's the seventh day. The woman had to be purified for seven days, right? And then she could go back to her husband and be back with her husband. But there had to be a purification. And so God, Jesus is delivering the earth back to God, purifying it. There's going to be a thousand years of peace. Jesus is going to rule with the rod of iron. The kings, the kings and the priests will be this born-again saints. And so the kings and priests of the earth, the born-again saints, will rule and reign with Jesus for a thousand years. And we're del what's happening is delivering the earth back to God, and it's going to be renovated. It's going to be a new heaven, a new earth, right? So this is a purification process, but it's also a revelation. So the more revelation you get, the more pure you get, because you realize all this other stuff's fake. Rock 92's fake. Country music's fake. It's just a, just a, I mean, if you really think about what these songs are, there's really no depth to it. It's just repeating the verse over and over. It's brainwashing you to think like the world. That's all it is. Most every, everything around you is fake, especially if it's of the flesh. It's going to be burned up. It's not even real. It's going to, the wood, hay, and stubble's got to be burned up. The flesh is going to be burned. That's why they're going to burn in hell, in hell forever. The smoke of their torment rises forever. Why? Because the flesh has to burn forever. The energy of the flesh has to burn up. And they have to burn. Everything that they're trying to do, they're trying to be good enough. <clears throat> they're trying to attain righteousness by works. They're trying to get there by hard work and works, levels, ranks, grades, ratings. They're trying to be comparing themselves with one another. They're trying to do whatever to be good enough but they can't only Jesus they don't have the power but when you get saved you get the Holy Spirit you have the power to do right will you mess up yeah you're gonna mess up but for the most part you got the power and so when you realize the flesh mind is not even real it's got to burn up you then you start to get that revelation and that knowledge. You say, well, I'll just live that way every day because the, the energy of the flesh is a waste of time. It's, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. It's insane. It really is. The flesh mind is totally insane, just like the devil. And no, it's just like Wally Cody. Wally Cody probably doesn't want to chase Roadrunner, but it's built into him. What is that? The flesh mind. is they. If you marry one of them, they might love you in their way, but they're trying to do things in the energy of the flesh, and they want you to do things in the energy of the flesh. And when you just sit back and chill, it makes them mad. When you don't have to uh, do some kind of religious tradition under law, it makes them mad. When you don't join their cult, their box, their 666 cube box, denomination, denaming you, when you don't join up with their system that they want to create, it makes them mad. When you don't go along with the program of the flesh mind, it makes them mad. Because the spirit mind is outside this flesh. And so because you are outside this flesh, you're extraterrestrial in Christ. So you're outside of the, the terrestrial. And so what happens? All the movies reveal mankind will attack the, terrest the extraterrestrial. So... They have to attack the camp of the saints after the devil's loose for a thousand years because it's the same 
It's the same repeat. It's the same story. The devil has to be bound. Think about it. You're talking about a spiritual creature. And so the kings of the earth get deceived again once he's loose. So it has to be a spiritual thing. They really like, without the demons giving them some kind of hidden knowledge like technology but the devil the devil and demons don't get it from themselves they get it from they all, they have to wait for God to reveal something and as soon as God reveals something they start spreading it among theirs as an anti it's just like uh, Superman and Bizarro you got Flash and Anti-Flash every time something's revealed to the saints the devil takes it throws it to his people his minions his demons his demon possessed people and they start to use it against the, the kingdom. You understand? It's really God is revealing Jesus through the script, through the movies, through everything, the technology, through science, physics, and everything. And then they're using it for evil, but God's using it for good.